I had extra peppers and I don't, I just stuck them in there and I don't even know if they're peppers. We may be doing loofah for a giveaway. I thought it was a cucumber. This is not a cucumber. There's something crawling on me. Now, if you're in need of loofah, I think I'm gonna be your girl. And then sunflowers with no heads. Tips for Michelle, dog hair. Hashtag shed wars. I don't have a lot, but every little bit counts. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, I thought we could do a garden check. You wanna do a garden check with me? I'm gonna be able to harvest some today too. So, hashtag shed wars, hashtag team woodcutter. Let's start with the tomatoes, okay? Let me get the dog out of the way. I had a fungus on the tomatoes. So, what I've done is there's no leaves touching the dirt, none. I've been babying these tomatoes and taking care of these tomatoes because they had a bad start to start with. But, as you see, we are getting some tomatoes look over here so we're getting we're getting some tomatoes so we will have tomatoes this year and there's one over there too do i know what they are no don't remember we didn't label the plants no okay we i but there's quite a few tomatoes in here so i think i was able to save the tomatoes i sure did baby these things though i really did Moving on to the peppers. Now we have a victory mystery garden. Don't forget. Don't know what kind of peppers we planted. Not sure what that is. Not sure. But as you see over there, we've got peppers coming. And we're still waiting on these little guys. Oh, there's a pepper coming there. All right, here's the pool beans and the sunflowers. I put sunflowers on the end of the beds just because I wanted to. But we've got pool beans happening over here. Over here, more sunflowers. And these are the dragons, I think it's dragon's tongue from Baker's Creek that are purple. I did pick some of these, I'll show you later. But they're coming purple. Can you see that? Purple. And they taste pretty good too. Moving on, we have more peppers. Now, my husband and I think this is hysterical, okay? Our peppers, like, I don't know, they're not doing, they're doing okay. They're not growing big, but um, there's my hand, there's the pepper, and there's the peppers. Again, they're very tiny, but they're producing peppers. So, I guess we'll just wait and see. There's some bigger ones down there. But there's the pepper situation. And I thought, yeah, my husband's here. Pepper surprise. I thought down here was green peppers, but evidently they're not because as you see, that's not a green pepper. Pepper surprise. He's been working on the tractor. Oh yeah, we may have to get rid of that one. It's got a flower on it, that's why I don't want I don't get it either, but hey. Now, if you're in need of loofah, I think I'm gonna be your girl. Here's the loofah plant, or loofah plants, I should say. Look, look, how, look how good they're doing. Sorry, there's something crawling on me. But these are doing quite well. So I think that I'm gonna have an overabundance of loofah. We may be doing loofah for a giveaway. Lots of giveaways of loofah. I can see maybe that coming in the future. Over here, we have squash. We have more squash that I did harvest a big one off of there. And I'll show it to you in a minute. And then down here, we have acorn squash that we've got one coming right here. I thought that I bought butternut, but I didn't. It's acorn. Never had acorn squash. Guess I will now. Now if you notice, this is, I shaved my dog and put some of its dog hair down here because something started eating this plant. And as soon as I put the dog hair around the plant, the plant, the whatever was eating it, quit eating it. So that tip from, tips from Michelle, dog hair. Dog hair works. Okay, back here. We planted this grass last year I, I don't know. I just want to show you. I love, I love ornamental grass. 
So we planted this this year and the ones in the front this year. And I've been watering those quite good. I just love ornamental grass. And remember, well, I don't know if, if you saw my last video when I said my lettuce was so pretty. Well, I came out the next day and it was all just looking half like that. So I, I think it got too hot for the lettuce. Those are marigolds I'm just kind of waiting on. Okay, in here I think I had extra peppers and I don't, I just stuck them in there and I don't even know if they're peppers. I think they are. Don't know what kind. Those are probably the green peppers. All right, beets. We got some beets happening. There's a little beet there coming. I'm liking the beets. Lettuce, same situation. Got too hot for the lettuce, so I'm just letting it go and seeing what it does. Got more beets down there. I did plant more than that, but I think something ate them. We did plant the rose bush this year, and it's doing quite well. Onions, I like these dehydrated. These were awesome. So I had, I just planted the rest of my onion, onions in there. See them coming up? I had extra, a lot of extra. So I thought, oh, I'm going to plant them. And I like them close together like that because I would rather have a smaller onion that I can cut up and dehydrate. Up here is my chives. I don't know if it's too close together. Maybe somebody can tell me what to do with these chives. Do I need to thin them out? don't know. Then I've got more onions back here. And then if you take a notice down here, I've got pretty sunflowers and then sunflowers with no heads. The heads weren't even forming yet. I'm imagining that a squirrel sat here on the edge of this thing and ate my sunflowers. Not real happy with that. Then we have the grapevine. This year I have been babying this grapevine because we've always had nasty grapes they get a fungus on them so this year I've sprayed them and I've really watched and I may have to spray them again I also thinned them out so the air could circulate years past I, I would pile everything on top and just kind of let it like go this way and droop down I'm not doing that this year like if we have vines coming out, I'm just letting them go where they need to go. If it goes some, you know, if it, I can help it out a little bit, but I'm just doing it, letting it, I'm just letting it do whatever it needs to do. And I've been taking some big leaves out of there, just so the air can circulate. Maybe we won't grow mold. Now, over here. This is a zucchini plant. I thought it was a cucumber. This is not a cucumber. Not a cucumber. Zucchini, zucchini, cucumber. I thought all of this was cucumbers, but evidently it, evidently it's not. And I've been trying to, like this little guy's starting to vine, so I've been trying to keep them to go up the trellis. And these we're just going to let bush out into the yard. So I'm going to go pick some peppers and do a little bit of watering and when I'm done I'll show you our harvest. Hashtag shed wars. I don't have a lot but every little bit counts. Well I forgot. I'm also doing celery. Let me show you my celery. That was from my kitchen. I dehydrated the rest of that and I thought hmm self let's plant that. So I did. So we're going to see what that little bugger does. All right, I'm done picking. So let me show you what we have. Now we don't have a lot, but we have enough. There's the peppers. I know some of them are still like small and green, but I wanted to get them off those tiny little plants. There's 12, 12 peppers in there. How cool was that? Then here's our little green bean harvest. And then we've got one big zucchini that I might stuff. How is that? Getting windy out here. I hope you can hear me. So this was just a short little garden video. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Come back for more. Hashtag Shed Wars. Hashtag Team Woodcutter. And I'll see you next time. Bye.